Okay guys, we're gonna do a baking vlog. Anyways, we are gonna make some delicious chocolate chunk cookie mix. This is my secret cake. It's this mix that makes those delicious cookies that everybody loves. Um, but they're vegan, so I can eat them. I'm gluten free. So, great stuff. And we're gonna be making two batches today because I feel fat. Tell me this. First, get some cookie mix. Or make your own. But this is a lot of work because we're. Okay, anyway. So, uh, wash your hands. Bowls. I really only need one. So, we're only gonna use one bowl. Then, clear some space on your counter. Read instructions. And don't forget your apron. Let's start. This is the egg replacer I use. What I want is a bowl, just a plain, like, cereal bowl. Um, and it says right on the back, it gives you actually ingredient or um, recipes, it's great. Uh, so, like you can make ice cream with this thing. I don't know why you'd want to, but you can. Okay, so egg replacers. One and a half teaspoons of energy egg replacer and then mix with two tablespoons of water. If you, I'm going to do the vegan way so you guys can follow at home. Um, vegan margarine and you need eight tablespoons of well you want to preheat your oven to whatever time it says Congratulations, you have finished. Step two, I guess. Okay, so you'll probably be needing those, so don't put them too far away. Um, Alright, let's close up your butter. You will not be needing it anymore. Bye bye, bye bye. Supposed to soften it up. I got a new mixer. I'm very happy about my new mixer. Your mixer, do it with a whisk, however you like. I like doing it with a mixer. It's way faster, more efficient. Don't put that anywhere, you're gonna need it again. So now, you add all of those great things and you wanna do eggs. So you need eggs. And you're gonna take your other bowl if you decided to use two. Ooh, it's shiny. Anyways, and you're going to take these bowls and you're going to add it to the mix. Now, if I were you, I would add your mix in slowly. I wouldn't mix all of it at once. It's going to make it extremely difficult for you. like a tablespoon of water and like add it in there and it should be good. Or butter if you would so wish. And be good because the cookies do stick. Take your lovely cookie dough and you want to just make some balls. Yeah, that's right. Make some balls. Oh, you want to push it down because the cookies don't really
Are we gonna do the dishes? Hmm, that's probably a smart idea. But you know what's more fun? Having a dance party by yourself. Yeah, that's what I do all the time. Sing Every day I'm shuffling Guess what that means? Cookies! Cookies! Let's see if they're ready, because they might not be. But first, let's press timer. Okay, let's pull them out. So we got our beautiful toothpicks, and we're gonna take one out somehow. We're gonna take the toothpick and we're gonna put it in the middle of a cookie. So it doesn't really matter if they're not fully cooked because you're not going to get salmonella. That is how you bake those yummy cookies. Now the best time to try them out is like right now. Wait, let them cool a little bit. First you want to turn off your oven. Don't forget that. I've done that before. It's terrible. Don't forget to turn off the oven light. Enjoy your cookies. Enjoy them with a nice glass of milk. I would love to do that. I can't. Maybe I'll make some tea. Tea sounds good too. So let's just enjoy these cookies one way or another because they are delicious. Kate, I miss you. Hopefully we'll get that new vlogger. Um, Megan, totally make another vlog. I'll see you tomorrow. And there's so many chocolate chips that you can't tell if they're cooked or not. Now turn on the TV and do those dishes.